Welcome back to this channel for exercises for actuarial exams. You can see here uh, some links to information about me and uh, various resources I provide. Uh, I use this redirect service smarturl.it and then after forward slash you type in the word and then it tells it where to go to a site and it's a redirection of the one site to another. So if you want to find information about me, go to smarturl.it forward slash Jedi and you will see who I am. Here's the problem for today. It's an old uh, question on introductory uh, derivatives, derivative securities um, that I once posted as exam FM exercise number 242, but the material has now been moved to exam MFE. And the question that we ask here is, which of the following is not among a firm's rationales to hedge? And to hedge means to use an instrument, typically a derivative security, to um, reduce the risk of a company. So if you, for example, have big exposure where you would lose a lot of money if the price of oil goes up, then you buy something that um, makes you money if the price of oil goes up, and the net effect is that you're okay when the price of oil goes up. So here, let us look at these possibilities. To reduce taxes through income shifting, to reduce the probability of bankruptcy or distress, to reduce the costs associated with external financing, to reduce the exposure to exchange rate risk, to reduce the debt proportion of external financing. So A is true uh, because derivatives are used to shift income, um, thereby potentially lowering taxes. And in fact, um, if you have a question about how to use finance to make things better financially, uh, you should always immediately think about the modigliani miller theorem which says that in the absence of taxes bankruptcy costs and agency costs um, and the method of financing of a firm that has no effect on its value agency costs are the costs of hiring other people to do a job for us so we hire an agent and that agent will not necessarily pay attention to things that matter for us the agent will pay attention to um, things that matter for him or her. And um, that means also that um, if there is any effect of finance things, which are a method of financing of a firm, and that includes using derivative securities on, a value, on the value of the firm, then it comes from taxes, bankruptcy costs, or agency costs. So tax is the magic word here. B is also true as the transfer of income, and especially making it more evenly spread over various periods of time, may lower the probability of bankruptcy. And you see the magic word bankruptcy. C is true because hedging kits can safeguard reserves and reduce the need for external financing, which has been uh, both explicit um, fees for, for issuing bonds or stocks and implicit uh, reputational why would this company be suddenly so eagerly trying to get a loan um, costs. And generally um, anything that a company does to obtain financing is perceived as a signal by the market. Um, since issuing debt is risky um, then um, if a company issues debt, then it's perceived as a signal that, well, they don't mind taking the risk. But um, if they issue um, uh, equity, uh, then um, that's perceived as a sign that they're afraid of risk. These true because when operating internationally, hedging can reduce exchange rate risk. Finally, E is false. Uh, as a firm that credibly hedges will reduce the riskiness of its cash flows and will be able to increase debt capacity, which will lead to tax savings since interest is deductible. So the answer is E. Please remember that um, um, these exercises are copyrighted material. And also please remember that um, 
exercises from old society of actuaries or casualty actuary or society examinations or from practice exams, practice problems posted by them, belong to them, and are used here with permission. Good luck with your studies and with the exam.